Well, hello there, one and all. Welcome to episode number <laughs> 63, I think. Is it 63? And look, as I've logged in today, we have a gift sack, years from Armour's Workshop. I think we had one of these last year. I think it's where we got our doll from. Yeah, again, it's the same. You just get given a doll. I think our first one's here. Here he is. <laughs> we just have like a little terracotta army of these guys building up as we are. <laughs> as we go through the series more and more. Anyway, so yeah, happy December. Happy holidays, everybody. Woo, here we are. And doesn't it feel and look so different over here after last episode? I'm just waiting for this grass to spread. As you can see, I've just logged on uh, since I finished last episode and there's not much time has passed here. So the grass has not moved very much. But it's a very different mood. And this build is, uh, I guess, ready for us to start thinking about. But I'm also very keen to do what I said last week. And build a tunnel here. So that is how we're going to start today's episode. We're going to build a tunnel. Right here. Sweet. Okay, well that worked, and I don't know why such sudden inspiration hit me uh, at the start of this episode today to do that, but we mentioned it last time, it just felt like a, like a fun idea. Now we're going to get rid of all of this floor, because we're definitely not going to have this floor in it. It'd be nice actually, I think, probably to just carry on exactly that with the marble and the gravel, if we can. Now we need to think about what we want to do up here. I maybe should have actually started one block higher with it, because I think I might want to take a little bit more off the top. So if I just, it's kind of like starting again. <laughs> if I just do this, then I should be able to not remove these just yet, but we, we definitely can get rid of like, in fact, where's this guy? You. You can definitely do something like this, right? And be perfectly safe. I hope it's at least semi-perfect. And, and indeed we can get rid of this row here, which gives us the room then to put the next set of, of higher higher guys up. Right, well, I think that's it then. So we can get rid of these, get rid of those. I hope this doesn't fall down on my head any minute. Oh, look, we missed a, a chiseling opportunity here. There we go. So that's fine for there. Okay, wait, I'm fine. <laughs> I still feel confused. No, I think I'm okay. I think I know what, I think I know what we need to do. Um, what I wanted to do was try some steps in the roof. Let's get the roof done first so the thing is nice and secure. I'm going to leave the raw schist on the walls of the tunnel because it just feels like the most natural thing when you've, you can see the, the stone here and we're digging through the stone. Um, however, I was going to look at stairs for the roof. Maybe try something a little bit different. In the, I was thinking about silverwood on this occasion. Seems like the silverwood will go nicely with the schist, but also with the bright lights, the bright lights, <laughs> the bright colour of the marble underneath. But they, this is a busy texture. Might not work. Yeah, I think we're going to go with that. We're going to give it a whirl. We'll give that a try. So, so right now, with those three all covered, uh, these supports can go. There's nothing there holding up anymore. Yeah, I think for the front, we do need to be using the, uh, the legitness. Something like that is okay, isn't it? Maybe we need to maybe work out some kind of a some sort of pillars for the for the edges. In fact, yes, definitely let's do that. So we get rid of these. Get rid of those. And put some kind of like entranceway pillar there, yeah? Okay, so I've actually decided when you look here actually that the schist, I don't think and given now we've put boundaries on, I think I just I just want silverwood all over these walls. So so that's what we that's what we're doing now. 
All right, so there we go. Welcome back, you guys. I think that pretty much concludes this, or at least what we can do on it in any meaningful way for now. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so we do actually we do need to get rid of all of these blocks along here. Might as well take out. Yeah, let's just do them all for now, I suppose. We're going to need a bit more silver wood then, I guess, because, yeah, those bits are cracking up. But look, we've run out of marble anyway, marble bricks. So I think we'd better go go get some of those. I'm just going to put in these pillars here. I guess we have a decision to make about exactly how we close up the top of this kind of the entrance to these. So we could just cross beam it, couldn't we? Might just be the easiest thing, like. Yeah, I think we build up some of the terrain around that a little bit more so it feels a bit more s s sort of snug, like it does on this side. And I think that'll work. And look at that perfect number of logs in the inventory. Yeah, cool, man. And once the grass has spread all the way along to these, and. Yeah, yeah, we need to just finish taking all these out. So I thought for the second half of the episode then. To uh, mix it up a bit, why don't we go out exploring? Let's go adventuring, looking for for some marble. Just to kind of do something a little bit different. We spent a lot of time around the base recently. We've been looking at our tech progression. In fact, we just check in on that quickly up here. Because if this... Oh, yes, the vein's finished. Doesn't look like it's finished, does it? If it's still throwing aluminium... Oh, sorry, platinum pieces out. Pieces are still coming through. Should we go check on the integrity of the vein itself? This was, yeah, the platinum vein we set up last time, eh? It's over here. Oh, look, the grass is spreading there. That's nice, that's nice. Still 40% of it left, so well over half of it. <laughs> half of the vein left, so we're not... We're not getting mad close yet. I wonder the next thing to check, I suppose, is the state of the... Come down here, the state of this locker that's taking all the platinum it's, it's doing a fine job and the smeltery's not too full no far from it okay cool okay so I might need a few more of these let's make a couple more the silverwood oh, it is nice isn't it it's a very nice texture and actually the other thing that I think is really cool about it or at least about using it right here in this context is we come through here that creates quite a different colour colour scheme for us with the the chert and the marble, but it works really nice. Reminds me of like Tomb Raider 1 or 2, maybe because of the pixelated texture here, <laughs> trying to look kind of regal. Reminds me of those first two Tomb Raider games for some reason. But you come through here and that up there, that's got a lot of the old uh, silverwood planks in that build up there where the armor stuff is. Let me just, just, just jump up there, I'll show you. In here, you see? Remember this place? And with lots of stairs as well. It's actually quite, quite similar kind of a fit made me think maybe this is where a sort of enchanting library armor we could build that downwards maybe into a sort of a few stories worth of building and it, this could be another way of climbing up onto that level from down here anyway all food for thought but right now let's just go get a load of marble because if we are going to do something like that in this area that would be cool and we could even go up to the armory and replace the schist in there with with marble and i believe we're using great wood logs up there already right Oh, just missed. I'm enjoying the um, the staff of traveling. So for anyone who's not... Is that what it's called? Yes. For anyone who's not used this before, obviously you can, as I've been doing, just click on your uh, travel anchors to go straight there. And to the, into the kitchen or whatever. Um, but if you, if you don't have a travel anchor where you're headed, you can just shift right click. And it just sort of throws you in that direction in general. <laughs> oh, wow. I even went into the building then. Okay, crazy. So looking at Journey Mapper then, like where is this marble? There's some like I don't I think that's granite from what I remember. Could it be all the way over here where we went quite recently? Where we went to go get the lava do you remember we found the sulfur there and we were looking for Oh yeah, it was when we were out exploring looking for animals we went this way. You know, I might even just look at one of my own videos to just see if I can peek if that was marble. <laughs> okay, deep, yeah, so I just had a look and this is quartzite over here, which of course, I remember because that's, yeah, it is, it's quartzite. So, yes, damn. Maybe, maybe down there is where we came across marble, unless it's like all the way over here. Oh, God, I hope not. It doesn't look bright enough to be marble over here. No, I don't think that's bright enough. 
So I think we need to go. <laughs> if you can follow me uh, clicking around, dragging everything all over the place, I think we need to go down to there. I'll be gutted if I'm wrong. But if I am wrong, then we'll just grab a load of acacia wood, I guess. Okay. All right, let's... Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Okay, there are too many monsters nearby, but I literally can see nothing. <laughs> oh, there we go. That <laughs> I find that so jokes how you can run away from a zombie and then sleep while he's like that close to me. Hi, hi, guy. Yeah. Here we are. I don't know if this is it here. That's right. So was marble was potentially one of the rock types that we only found underground, which might be problematic. Let's return quickly to journey map and just have a look here. So I still think we need to go over and have a look, just double check that it is. So it's basically straight uh, straight this way, yeah? I mean, the other option would be to replace all the marble, but we've built so much of that. <laughs> well, we got, like, it's not a huge amount. But we, we, we've built a fair amount of it already. If the, rock is, if, the, if the marble rock is only underground, then finding it is not going to be easy for us, is it? Like, because I have... In spite of a few people making the suggestion that I mark rock types on uh, on the journey plan, I never have. I just felt like it would get a little bit too chaotic. Although someone recently told me you can also like kind of have multiple levels to your journey map. I don't know how you'd do that in where the interface is for it here, or if it's literally just a case of switching the files around before you launch so you can have like one you know journey mapper file that just has your rock types on one journey mapper file that just has your ores and so on and so forth one only for your or excavator rules and one for your like standard one you know what i mean you get you get the picture um i've, I've just not been quite that organized yet maybe in maybe in the next series <laughs> Now I want to tell you guys all uh, about something that I'm doing this week on Wednesday evening in uh, UK time, 8pm. We are going to be running another charity open mic night. Not on Dankenstein channel, this is on a, a slightly different channel, but I will post a link to it uh, in Discord. And it's a charity fundraiser for a charity called Tommy's, who are a baby charity. They're a great cause. And, you know, our previous open mic nights have raised several hundred pounds the first one was like 700 pounds for st john's ambulance the second one ah, oh, it's chalk not marble ah oh. um the second one we did raise like 1600 quid for unicef and this time we're we're uh, fundraising for tommy so that's 8 p.m uk time on wednesday jump onto the dankenstein discord and there'll be a link to the open mic night there and you can uh come check it out and show your support if you are that way inclined when it comes to music and or charities okay damn so there is actually there's chalk here, and it becomes, I guess it becomes das, like becomes the quartzite up there. That looks like a slightly different colour to that. Should we just keep going this way, or is that just obviously... It's more red, it's not the same as the dasite down there, I don't think. And is that the same as the quartzite up here? Is the quartzite the slightly redder stuff? Yes, quite possibly, actually. Check it out over here, we should be able to see. The quartzite doesn't seem like it is that red over there, because that's quartzite. Okay, I want to go and see what this is down here. So it's again, it's just further, uh, further this way, slightly that way. Okay, let's, let's go. So just on my travels here, I've reached an area like this. Look at this. We have literal holes in the floor out here. And it seems to me to be, yeah, look, it's where the seaweed is. If I break the seaweed, then the block below it goes with it. That's weird. But the cattails, what about the cattails? Can you break those? You can. Okay, okay I don't know quite what to make of these missing, uh, these holes in our world. I guess we could check for, uh, check for caves. <laughs> I don't know what's causing that. It's a little bit worrying, but then it looks like it's a limited few chunks because then the seaweed's all working up in this chunk again. So it's not just distance from from the crib. Anyway, strange, thought I'd share. So movement now, I just want to show you this because it's just the combination of these different uh, 
items that we now have it means we can do things like this. Like I can just jump up onto the top. Okay, that didn't quite <laughs> that didn't quite work. I can jump up right onto the top of this quite easily and then just glide over the water to the to the land that we're after. We are just so much more mobile with the kind of combinations that we can pull off. I think it's over here. I mean, already from here it feels like I can tell this isn't marble. Maybe it is. This is still chalk. Okay, right, so it's yet to change type. Where are we then? Are we in the place I thought we should be? Ah, right, we've got to go along along the shore a bit first. Okay, cool. So again, it's just like, jump up there and then glide off. <laughs> Pretty smooth. Okay, here we come. Approaching the moment of truth. I'm pretty sure I can tell from over here it isn't. What is it? Quiz, it is the quartzite. Oh, god damn. Oh, we've just come such a long way for no reason. <laughs> what animal is that, at least? There is an animal over there. We didn't bring our soul vials, did we? In fact, I didn't bring my... I didn't bring any of my stuff. Oh. Amateur productions out here. <laughs> Let's see what this animal is. If it's a horse then I don't know what we'll do. I want it. Uh, of course, it's just another basic pig. Oh, whoops. Okay. Um, okay, well, I guess we just turn around and go home then. Yeah, there isn't, there isn't marble here. <laughs> we might just have to um, sit around and wait until it shows up. Or maybe we could do a little bit of exploring on the stream tomorrow. See if we can find uh, see if we can find some marble tomorrow. The other option would be to pull all the marble out and replace it with chalk or some other uh, some other similar coloured stone that we just have a bit more of, you know. Anyway, damn. Okay, oh look, there it is. It does actually show it. So can I jump? I can't jump out of a boat with it. Interesting. Okay, anyway. <laughs> so we should now, at that being at the oil rig, yeah, we should just need to head head back on these guys. Okay, we're back. And so it does gut, it is kind of gutting that we can't finish it, but it's also like it's kind of nice to arrive back to it and see that this thing actually looks very, like, yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it looks great in there. Can we get away with getting out, getting rid of the middle ones? We probably can. Yeah, it's perfectly, <laughs> perfectly light enough like that. It looks cool. It looks very cool. I'm like, I'm into it. So yeah, okay, right, never mind. On to something else for a bit then. All right, so 40% of the start of the episode, wasn't it? What are we saying now? 26% interesting. Whew. So probably some point in the middle of tomorrow's live stream, that vein will expire and we'll need to move that thing to the next spot. Which would be cool. Uh, and once the vein expires, all the platinum's been processed in real time, and then we can just start churning through the other stuff very quickly. Look. At the, this is, it feels like, it almost feels like a totally different place. Now the grass has spread, doesn't it? Um, but it's cool. It's a load more space to build in. Ah, look, while we're here, let, this is a little project. We need some ladders and we need a trapdoor. Yes, yes, yes. I want to make this into a proper feature. It's a historical landmark for Dankenstein. Whoops, oh my god, I'm falling all over the place. Right, let's try that again. Wooden. A couple of ladders. And the trapdoor. Oh god, it's like it was meant to be. A sign? Yeah, let's put a sign outside it too. The smooth schist border showing with pride. Trapdoor. Lovely. Ladders. This is the version where you can't climb up ladders like that, isn't it? Oh no, okay, there must be some kind of mod in this pack that's letting us do it. I know that is still that is still awkward. Okay. Just checking. So we come around this way. Beautiful. 
and a little sign to say site of historical significance charcoal pit <laughs> amazing okay this is a project let's do this now we're going to do mini projects around here i think for the rest of the episode and this is one that i know needs doing you see unfortunately the grass does not grow back on these just these ones because they have a solid block over them luckily the stairs on the edges of the uh of the train track there still let the grass come through there i guess they're technically transparent but unfortunately uh the main the main guy is blocking the grass from coming through there so what we need i mean what we really really need and in fact i've been thinking about this for a while is we we just need like a proper silk touch shovel for gathering for gathering grass blocks don't we and let's have a look at oh yeah it isn't potions it's books right let's have a look in here I don't think we actually have like a spare silk touch because I feel like we would have done something with it. It's not the kind of thing you just sit on. Yeah, okay. Well, for now, we'll just grind it out with our, um, with this. What is it? Where is it? <laughs> with this, the silk touch scythe, which breaks uh, grass blocks. Well, painfully, painfully slowly, but um, anyway, let's, let's just use this. <laughs> um, so we might have to drop the beat in a second just while I uh, mine these out now. Okay, maybe that's enough. How many did we get? 21 blocks? That was quite a long time. <laughs> it did take a long time. Um, where, where is it? Down here. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Oh, we were one shot! Which I guess we can cheat. And just take, take this one. The normal dirt there, that will grow back eventually. And yes, that's done. Okay, good. Right, sorted. Now, <laughs> the next mini project I had in mind Oh, I think are they nearly, they're pretty much finished. I think they might be completely finished. But let's take them all off of this, because these are the easiest ones to harvest, because they're against the wall. Um, so we've got a few spares on us, and then we can check. I think there may have just been a few more that we needed to do to finish it, but I might be wrong. So it might just be a case of actually, let's just do a harvest, and then see what we do with these. Do we actually make... Can we make wine? So if you look around here in the pub garden... Yeah, that one's all gone. I mean, that looks great, doesn't it? It really makes this pub garden feel good. So we, oh, we, could, we need to build. Okay, that's an episode waiting to happen. Is building the exterior to the uh, to the music making studio thing there. Oh look, we've got some gooseberries here. Don't mind if I do. So actually, I think maybe they did finish these grapes. They actually grew much quicker than I thought they would. It was kind of one of these exponential things where the very beginning is so slow that you just think the whole project's never going to finish. But the more of them that grew. The more we got each harvest, the more we could increase the numbers that would grow for the next harvest. And it did just happen very quickly. Yeah, and it is. It's, I'd forgotten. We must have finished it. Look at that. Now that they've all fully grown, it does really do exactly what I thought it would. It just adds another texture of foliage and another kind of color to the palette of the kind of greenery on that side there. Yeah, it's great. Now, late spring, you guys. You know what that means? It means I want to plant some crops, actually. I think that's what we'll finish the episode on, is we'll just do a ch cheeky little bit of farming. And so to work out exactly what we want to plant, I think there might have been some stuff here. In this. Perhaps? No? No, I guess not. I think of vanilla. There's vanilla stuff in here. Oh, yeah, our backup animals are in there. Okay, no, I don't know why I thought I had seeds up here. But I don't. So that's fine. So all the seeds are down in the in there. And as it's late spring now, it's a good time to do a it's a good time to plant some stuff, I think. Now these dogs. Is this one healed at all? It's not healed at all. I need to process some more leather too, actually. Do you think that's got enough about it to Yeah, it will do the large one. Okay, good. Let's come in here, cut the sheep skin off. Put that in there. The spare wool can go in there. Lovely. Right, seeds. This is what we're looking for over here. What do we want to plant? 
maize is a superfood for us because it's grain that we can eat without having to make bread. <laughs> but we can just eat the maize straight away and it's like... Argh, argh. Right, if we're going to be um, familiarising animals, then let's do all of our oat, wheat and barley, which is crazy. It's crazy amounts of food to do all of it because there's so many seeds there, but let's do them. Um, for uh, veg... Oh, yeah, I want to do my sugar cane. I want to do my sugar cane. We'll do all our soybean for protein that we can grow. Or we'll do a stack of 64 is probably plenty. Stack of onions is probably plenty. And then when it comes to... Yeah, I think I'm just going to sack off everything else here. Unless we go green beans instead of onions just to kind of mix things up a bit for us. Let's do that because we've been eating lots of onions recently. Okay, cool. Now, will these dogs cause us issues with crops growing right underneath them? Are they going to try and eat them and stuff like that? I hope not. I assume not. Let's put our green beans over here. <laughs> oh, in fact, we, let's bring the beat in again. Montal in fact, I'm going to sleep as well, Ralph, because I, yeah, I can see these guys coming out of the shadows ready to just cause me like hassle and fill up my inventory with junk. I'm not on it. I'm not on that. All right, drop the beat then and let's, uh, let's plant all these seeds now. <laughs> Sorry, before we go into it, I just killed that zombie there. I think he picked up one of my vanilla carrots, cheeky so-and-so. Like, he literally, like, pulled it out. Man trampled it and then picked it up. <gasps> what a chief. Okay, well, okay. All right, let's, I guess, also harvest all of these now. Oh, it's not gonna. Interesting. You know what is interesting? I could just harvest the top half of those plants there and leave the bottom halves on. I'm gonna actually do that for all of these. So that presumably the next bit grows back quicker. I would imagine. Let's see if it's the same for all of the... Uh... It does seem to be the same for all of the Psychedelicraft crops like that. We can just leave the bottom half in. So yeah, apart from those ones that I accidentally... Or oh, maybe not accidentally, but naively broke <laughs> um apart from those we're gonna we're gonna do that for all these here Okay, so as I'm doing this, firstly I'm noticing these holes are actually in the chunks right next to our <laughs> right next to our base as well. So if anyone has seen that glitch before, I would like it I would like to learn a little bit more about what's going on there so that at least maybe I've got a chance of it not screwing my world. Look, you can see the spiral staircase down into the dungeon there. That's cool. I mean, I suppose as long as I I've, I've learned that it is definitely not going to brick the world then I suppose that's fine I do do regular backups here anyway but <laughs> you got to admit it's concerning but as we come to the end of doing all this now just getting my uh what's this here get my oats down now and then last but not least a little bit of barley it looks like we are actually going to have enough room here and we may even be able to uh bring out something else although if we want to do that or not I don't know this actually looks near perfect there's three spare spaces there so I think that's fine we'll leave them so we've got to recap uh, quite a lot of barley quite a lot of oat a lot of wheat a small amount of maize 
a lot of soybeans. Decent amount of uh, green beans there. And on the end, uh, I thought I'd chuck the sugar cane in to see if we can't make a load more sugar for our boozing and uh, psychedelic crafting and things. So yeah, so that's that. And I'll show you in here, I made a chest uh, with psychedelic craft seeds and resources in it just for now. That's our farmland refreshed for the year. I've actually left a lot of the vanilla soil over there un, um, unchanged just because... I think we'll do another Psychedelic Craft episode soon, and when we do, we'll probably review a lot of the, the usage of this land, and we might change it up, I'm not sure. Let's see if I can sort that guy out without pulling a plant up, I don't think I can, so there we go. Cool. So, thanks so much for watching, as always, guys, and um, take care until next time. I'll catch you for the live stream tomorrow uh, for, for Terraforma Craft Reloaded live stream times, and um, yeah, take care. All right, peace.